Hi, Anthony. Okay, rather than trying to type all this out, I'm just going to try to make a real simple video to show you what we're up against here. This here, of course, is not over the axis. And because this is not dead over this, the swing is not going to work the same as it is way out here trying to swing this. But nonetheless, I'm going to show you what we're up against here. In this particular example, with the, with the center axis being back here, to get this to swing to here to here, it turns out this is exactly 23 degrees. Um, as you can see here from this measuring tape, now it's set all the way back. From here, this measuring tape, you look straight down, it's right about three inches. If I push this, it stops right just barely past, it's not right exactly at the one inch. So I'm only getting two inches from here to here, but yet this is going to have to move three inches, which means whatever ratio we find here, over here in the middle of the wheel, has to have the same flexibility to move three inches this way. And of course, with this setup, I don't get that. But whatever you end up designing with the axis point here, like that and like that, has to allow this to be able to move the same amount of ratio this moves. So if this moves back and forth three inches from back here to back here, as the wheel turns, that, then we need this to be able to move the exact same ratio. Now, if you notice, my I've got this arm way out here, and I still can't move this a full three inches. I can only move this two inches. I truly believe, though, if this had been dead center over this axis, everything would be completely different here. But anyway, this jury rig setup, which is a total joke, doesn't work, of course. But the whole point of what I'm making this video here is to show you what we're up against. So hopefully what I just said makes sense. Um, there are a couple ways to do this. Maybe I can draw a diagram. But I need to be able to make sure that when I attach this here to this, that I can adjust this, how much this is going to move this way in relationship to this. In other words, I need a sliding scale. And I also need a sliding scale this way. So I need an X and a Y. So this way... I can tweak this this way so it's exactly correct, and I can move this in and out to change the torque ratio. That's it. That's all I can think to say here. Hopefully you understand. Um, this is not easy to explain with a video or in text. All right. Thank you, Anthony. Hopefully this helps. Bye-bye.